Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and early, 4 a.m. on the dot here in Connecticut on the East Coast. When I do this, this is my right hand, right, right coast, East Coast, left coast, left hand, East Coast. Okay, <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. It's going to be a good video. Mamet Oz, Dr. Oz. We're going to talk about him. Okay, I'm not going to go through everything. We, we, we all know who Dr. Oz is. He's a, I was, I'm so tempted every time I, I want to do this, Dr. Oz, but I, I can't do that because he, he's a real doctor. I believe he's a uh, thoracic surgeon, heart surgeon, cardiac surgeon, cardiologist. So he's a real doctor. Okay. And he's also on TV known. He's a, he is a uh, uh, famous as Dr. Oz. He's a TV personality. Okay. Now, we're also going to talk about the Philadelphia Inquirer. I didn't know a lot about this paper, but supposedly they've been along, around for a very long time, since the 1700s, I think it was, even though the Hartford Current is the oldest newspaper in the country. Just had to throw that in there, a little hometown fact. Okay, so they've been around for a long time, the, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, they were initially Democrat, then they kind of slid over to Republican. This is what Wikipedia said. I don't know a lot about the newspaper. And now, supposedly, they're kind of, they're independent. Okay, that's, that's what Wikipedia says. I'll put the link down below. All right, so the, the Philadelphia Inquirer, that's where Dr. Oz, or Mamet Oz, is running for a Senate seat. I think he lives in New Jersey, but he just moved, he, he listed his address as his in-law's address in Pennsylvania so he could run for a Senate seat, which is a little a little shady, but we're going to let that pass. That's not what this video is about. We'll let that one slide for now. All right. So the Philadelphia Inquirer recently said that they're going to call him by his his name, Mamet Oz. Uh, just to, be, to put a fair, a, flare, a, uh, a fair playing field, a fair level playing field, because everybody else is called by their name, so we're going to call him out. This is his name, Mamet Oz. All right. So Dr. Oz, or doc, I'm going to call him Dr. Mamet Oz. All right, just I'm gonna go right up the middle. All right, so he doesn't like this, and uh, he, he's complaining that he's being canceled. All right, so he's already hopping on that train. This is the thing, man. Conservatives, Republicans, Trump supporters, with these these word these keywords: woke, uh, canceled, uh, CRT. These these are like these phrases that are just meant to inflame. You know, they, they are these negative connotating words that that conservatives use that just you know and just it's just it's just like to fuse with them okay so he says he's he's being canceled he will not be canceled right okay so he you know you can see where he's trying to go with this he, he wants to ju jump on that trump train i'm not gonna be you know how long is it before he starts using the words woke and crt and how long before he starts buying he's gonna start buying into the big lie pretty soon too i'm sure but it's not what that video the video is about. Okay, <clears throat> so he claims he's being canceled. I will not be canceled. Okay, let's let, let's let, let's just look at the top layer of this first of all. The Philadelphia Inquirer. Now, from what I could see, I don't know. I I, I have never read the paper, but looking it up, it, it doesn't sound like it's a heavy a heavily liberal paper. Uh, this could be an honest attempt to just, you know, use his, his name. I looked up on, on uh, Google and Quora, is it, uh, to see if you can list doctor on your driver's license, I think. Uh, they don't check into it. You can't use it illegally. It's kind of shady whether you could use it or not. I think it's up to the person. If they want to use the, 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 the if they want to be called doctor, they can ask to be called doctor. But it's a free country. If, they, if, you, if I want to call him Mom at Oz, you know, nobody's going to put me in jail if I call him Mom at Oz. I, it's my, it's, that's my right to call him what I want to call him. That's his legally given name. Okay. But this is the thing, though. He's claiming he's being canceled. Now, see, I, this, is, this is kind of... This, this gets my go. It does. Because, he, to me, he's just trying to jump on the... You know, here comes, here comes the Trump train going by with all the, the flags and, uh, oh, hey, I'm canceled too. Let me get on. I'm canceled. I'm against woke people. I'm against, I'm against all the right things. And he jumps on. I'm, I will not be canceled. I think that's a load of bull, really. Uh, you know, he could just ignore it. You know, if somebody 
call this is a thing that they, it, this aggravates me. This it doesn't aggravate me, but if somebody refers to me as an addict, that's a big thing because I'm I, I I am my family is at times tells me not to even bring up the whole thing, but I am extremely proud of it. It's maybe who I am today that I'm a recovering addict. That's a little bit of a different thing, though. Anyway, let's get in. Let's look into this more, though. Okay, now let's let's look underneath all this. All right, Doctor Oz, Mamet Oz. I think the real reason here is I I, I get the feeling that the, the Philadelphia Inquirer wants to the people to know who he is or where he comes from. I think it, the right the right has a history of being anti-Muslim and being anti-foreigner. Dr. Oz is a Muslim, comes from a Muslim household. He is a Muslim, okay? Uh, he was born in America. His parents are from Turkey. He served in the Turkish army to, be, to, to get his Turkish citizenship. He has dual citizenship. He is not just a citizen of America. He's a citizen of Turkey, too. I think down deep down, even though I don't, I'm not sure if the Philadelphia Inquirer is liberal or you know where they sit on the spectrum, but I think this is really an attempt to them to to let the the, the people that are, have potential to support him, the Republicans, the Trump supporters, the the conservatives out there, I think this is kind of a jab to let them know who he is. And he's not just Doctor Oz, that great that great funny Doctor Oz from TV, with the funny uh, remedies. He is. He's not just an American. He, he's a Turkish citizen. Uh, have we ever had a senator that was uh, had dual citizenship? I don't know. But I, I think it's kind of a jab. And I, I, I go, I'm, I'm with them on this. I am with them. I am with them on this to kind of use the conservative Republican um, prejudice against them. Not against them, but just to let them know, hey, this guy that's running for your party is Muslim. He's Muslim, and he has dual citizenship. He's not just an American. You know, not that, because a lot of times, the Republican Party, even though they claim they, they, they don't have these biases, seem to have these biases. So I, I kind of think, in my gut, when I read this story, they're going to call him Mamet. The name Mamet. What's the first thing that comes to your head? It's not an American name. And I think Dr. Oz, honestly, I think he's trying to hide that. I think he wants to be known by his happy American name, Dr. Oz. So he'll get, you know, it would get him more votes, I think. And uh, I, I, it, that's the way it sounds to me. If it were me, I don't know. I'd be proud of being a doctor. I don't know. I, I wouldn't make a big deal out of it. Because when you make a big deal out of something, people have a tendency to do it more. So this is where we stand on this. All the links will be down below. Uh, for Dr. Oz... To, or Mamet Oz to, to claim that he's being I'm being canceled. Look, watch watch the clips down below. Uh, he's got little happy, goofy music on in the background, Doctor Oz music, and it, it, you can see he's coming out with with uh, with the gloves. He, he's leaving the gloves on. He's got a kind of happy, smiley face. He's going, I won't be canceled. You know, he really hasn't gotten down and dirty yet. But these claims of being canceled. They're, to me, it's, it's false. It's false. Because somebody's going to call you by your legal name. Your legally given name. Your parents gave you. You can't call that being canceled. I think what he's getting at is he's famous for the name Dr. Oz. He's got name recognition for the name Dr. Oz. He's afraid that he's going to lose name recognition by calling him by his legal name. That's like if Dwayne Johnson ran for president. And, uh, you know, he wanted to be called The Rock. Uh, President, Rock, <laughs> President Rock. You know, it's not quite the same because doctor is a legal title. I get it. Doctor is a legal title. It, or it's a title. I don't know if it's legal. It's a title. Mama Oz is his name. Doctor is his title. You can call him. It, 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 it's either or. You can call him Dr. Oz, Dr. Mama Oz, Mama Oz. They're all accurate. But like I said, I think this kind of, in my, my gut feeling, this is why he doesn't, he'd rather be called Dr. Oz. is because I think he's kind of trying to keep that whole Turkish Muslim, especially the Muslim stuff, kind of on the DL. And uh, I think the Philadelphia Choir wants the people to know 
exactly, just for good, for better or worse, who he is. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great Tuesday.